So welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Blue Plan. It's Wednesday, so it is what I eat in a day on WW. I'm going to be showing you all of my food throughout the day today. We're gonna work out, we have some hauls, we have some good, good stuff coming your way in a really good dinner recipe and of course, Diesel and Lola will make their usual appearances, and of course, they're the stars of every video. So stay tuned for a little bit of Diesel and Lola as well. If you're new, stick around and subscribe. Join my YouTube friends and family. I would love to have you. And also, if you love these What I Eat in a Days, give this video a big thumbs up. It means a lot to me, and it really, really helps out my channel. Check out that description box down below where you're going to find links and discount codes to all of my favorite things, including some of the things that I shared with you in today's video. You're also going to find my website where all of my recipes are located so that you can print and recreate the recipe from tonight's dinner. My nutrition coaching website is down below. I'd love to help you figure out your macros, your calories, and just get you started or keep you going on your healthy lifestyle journey so check out my nutrition coaching website down below as well. And lastly, head over and join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you join our awesome community over there. So without further ado, let's jump into what I eat in a day on WW. What a wonderful So I'm getting packed up and ready to go to Jazzercise. So you guys know that I fill up my big gallon jug every single night, keep it in the fridge so I have nice cold water throughout the fridge. I'll link this down below. You guys have ordered this and are loving it. It's super affordable. This is how I track that I'm drinking a gallon of water every day. So what I'm going to do is fill this 64 ounce container with water out of my gallon jug because of course that counts towards my water for the day because I actually need this full for my pre-workout, during my workout and my post-workout, which is BCAAs, which I'll show you guys. So I'm gonna take some time and fill this with this. And then this is my shaker cup that came in my Miss Muscle Box, which you guys will see in unboxing in this video. I love that subscription so much and this cute bottle has a shaker top so i actually use it for my pre-workout and then i also just drink out of it during my workout and this is my pre-workout of choice this is the my adventure to fit this is the pineapple banana flavor they have tons of flavors they're all really really good so i really really like this pre-workout this is the same company that i take their greens and their calmeg which you guys will see me take when i get back from jazzercise so I'm going to go ahead and pop a scoop of the pre-workout into my shaker bottle and fill this up and we're ready to go. busy morning as you saw. I am currently in the parking lot of Jazzercise. It's about 20 minutes before class start, so it's 7.40 in the morning. I am going to take my pre-workout about a quarter till. I like to take it like 15 to 20 minutes before class starts. That way it has a chance to enter my system and I start feeling the effects of it, which is fantastic. So I am going to pop my pre-workout really quick and then head in for my workout. So right now I have 
686 steps since I just got up and literally went and did just a couple things around the house. So let's see what my step count is after my workout. So I'm excited as always to go do a little sweating first thing in the morning. We have a busy day today. I have a really good dinner recipe for you. Of course, I'll give you a little glimpse of Diesel and Lola. We just have lots to do today. It's kind of a work day for me. Mondays generally is. So let's get started with a sweaty session of Jazzercise. All right, Jazzercise is done. You can see I'm literally just like a hot, sweaty mess. It was so much fun. And now I have 5,313 steps. So basically I get pretty close to 5,000 steps every workout, which is amazing. And I always have my heart rate elevated at least for 50 to 60 minutes. So it's just a really, really good workout. I'm sweaty. I'm hot. I'm actually about to drink my BCAAs, which I drink after Jazzercise. Really helps with like muscle and joint recovery. Kind of just gets everything moving and recovering a little bit faster. Tastes really good. So let me show you what I have. So these are the BCAAs that I use. This is the Beyond Raw and this is the strawberry banana flavor. I really like this one. I would say my favorite is the mango but really you can't go wrong with any of these and I just put one scoop here in my shaker cup that I use during my workout as well and then I just kind of sip on it on my way home by the time I get home I've drank it all and I've consumed more water and in fact that whole black thing of water will be gone by the time I get home so I'll link these down below for you guys I just buy them on Amazon well hi bud your mama's home oh hi Yes, I'm home. Oh, I know. I'm home, everyone. Hi. You want to play? Get your baby. Get it. Get your baby. So here is breakfast. It's 9.35. I just got home from Jazzercise. And I have one of my pumpkin chocolate chip oatmeal bars that I made in meal prep, you guys. These are so, so good. If you haven't checked out meal prep that was posted Monday, Go check it out and recreate this recipe. It's so good. And then I have one full egg and one egg white. Just scrambled it up with some of the Trader Joe's onion salt. So the eggs are zero. I'll put points and calories here on the screen for the pumpkin bar on my cute little creep it real Halloween plate. And I actually just, you can see all the work I need to do. Oh, so I just filled up my water bottle. So I'm almost I'm over halfway through a gallon already, so I'll let you guys know when I finish it up. And again, I'll link these water bottles down below. So this is breakfast. I am home from Jazzercise, just ate my breakfast. It's time to take my greens. So excuse my appearance, but hashtag sweaty at Jazzercise. So these are the greens that I take. You guys saw my pre-workout was the same company, My Adventure to Fit. These are the greens in banana apple flavor. I love these because it's a full day's servings of greens in one scoop. It tastes really good, kind of like sour candy. I dry scoop these, so you're going to need the greens and of course some water. You can always mix these into water. I know people sometimes put these in their smoothies, so however it works for you, but for me it's just a little bit easier to kind of dry scoop them. So I'm about to take my greens. These will be linked down below. I have 10% off for my Adventure to Fit products in general. So the pre-workout that I showed you, the greens, and I also have the Cal Make. I won't be taking that today, but I'll insert a picture right here of that. So those are the three products that I use, and you can use my code for 10% off all of them. So let's take some greens. So that's it. Greens for the day are taken. So I'm working away and I'm gonna have some kombucha. I'm just gonna do one point worth of the Synergy Gingerberry, which you guys know is one of my faves. So that's about half of this glass and that is one smart point. Look what is here, my Miss Muscle Box for the month. You guys know that I have this subscription. I get this every single month. If this is not a sponsored video, I pay for this because I absolutely love this subscription box. It is all things female. It is all things fitness. I absolutely love it. I get so excited whenever it comes. I am going to link it down below with a discount off your first box for you. So definitely check them out. So what you receive every month is this is a meal plan and workout guide. So it's going to give you some workout ideas and then share some tips and tricks when it comes to nutrition. And then there is generally a little postcard that talks about whatever products are featured. So 
we're either getting leggings or biker shorts, which I'm excited about. And then also we must be getting some socks, which also I'm very excited about. Having good socks when you're working out is so incredibly important. So you do get the little workout guide and nutrition guide. And then check out my box. I see socks. So first we received the Hyper MV air light training socks in white and maroon they are one size fits all these actually look really really nice i want to take them out and feel them oh yes these are really nice they are soft and stretchy breathable material which i'm pretty excited about so these are great again good socks is so important when you're working out it just helps with cushioning for all of the impact and i'm excited i always go for good socks especially for jazzercise because it is such a high impact workout so this is great i usually pay about 15 dollars per pair for my socks it looks like these retail for 20 dollars for the two pairs and the entire box is only 29 dollars a month so there's $20 of it right there. Also, every month you get bars, which I love to, or snacks, because it's nice to be able to try new snacks. So it looks like this month we have two bars from Good To Go. We have Cocoa Coconut and Raspberry Lemon Soft Bake Bars. These are certified keto friendly, so I don't know how they'll be points wise. I will put that here on the screen for you, but they're only 170 calories, so not bad at all. So we received that. It does have two grams of sugar and seven grams of fiber, which is great. And then it looks like I got another grenade bar. Now I received one of these in a previous month. This is the high protein bar in peanut butter. So I'm excited for that. The other grenade bar was a birthday cake one and it was really good. This one has 21 grams of protein and only two grams of sugar. So you always get new bars, which is kind of fun to try them out but always the star of the show is the workout piece. So every month you receive a workout piece and then it also comes in a nice little reusable bag, which I love these because I use these for travel. You can also use these for wet swimsuits and dirty clothes to put them back in your suitcase. So it looks like I either have workout pants or shorts. So let's take a look. So it looks like I have biker shorts, which is great because I don't own any. So this is my very first pair of biker shorts. So I'm pretty excited about that. I did get the XXL because I find that their leggings and shorts run a little bit small. Normally I would want an extra large. So I'm excited for these. They are pretty short. So I don't know if I would wear these to jazzercise, but they would be great to wear with like an oversized t-shirt or tank top around the house. I love this pretty kind of teal blue band. It has a nice thick band in the front of the short and also that same nice thick band with the logo on the back. Nice and compression as well. They're nice and compressed, which I really like that. So yeah, you guys, that's my Miss Muscle Box this month. Some great bike shorts, some new bars to try, some socks, and a fitness and workout guide, all for $30 a month. So again, there is a link down below and a discount for you. So definitely check it out. If you like new fitness gear every month, it's affordable. You get to try new bars. I think it's great. I love my shaker bottle I got last month. I use it for every workout. So definitely check out Miss Muscle Box down below. So here is my lunch for today. It's just about 1145. I have my buffalo chicken mac and cheese that I also prepped in meal prep. You guys, you have to see that video. All the recipes are out of this world. This mac and cheese is so good. It will definitely help you reach your fiber goal because fiber gourmet pasta has tons of fiber. So I love it so much. It's really, really delicious. Mine is spicy, but not overly spicy. So you could always add a little more buffalo sauce if you wanted to amp up the spiciness. And then I just have about a half of a cup of frozen corn with some salt and pepper. And then I'm also going to have one of the Clio Greek yogurt mini bars. I found these at Walmart. So the normal Clio bars are 140 calories, six points. These minis are 60 calories and they still have four grams of protein for three points. So this is the size of them. They are pretty small, but they're really truly like the perfect sweet treat after lunch. So this is lunch and points and calories are here on the screen. So for a snack this afternoon, I have quite a lofty protein goal today. Whenever I work out, I try to up my protein. So I'm gonna have a protein packed 
snack. So I'm actually going to have five points worth of the Good Culture Whole Milk Cottage Cheese, which is almost one full cup, which will give me almost 30 grams of protein and a good amount of fat since this is full fat dairy. And then I'm also going to have my Nick sticks. This is the spicy one. You can actually have both of these sticks for 75 calories or three smart points. So I'm going to have five points worth of cottage cheese, three points worth of Nick sticks. This is like 40 grams of protein, which is awesome. So this is going to be my eight smart point afternoon snack. For tonight's dinner, we're gonna use our Instant Pot. I love my Instant Pot. It makes life so easy. I will link the one I have down below for you guys, but tonight we're doing an Instant Pot chicken burrito bowl. Now, if you don't have an Instant Pot, you can certainly cook this on the stove. You can even do this in your slow cooker. So don't fear if you don't have an Instant Pot, but let me show you what's in tonight's dinner. First, you'll need some chicken broth a can of black beans, rice. Now make sure that you're not using quick cook rice. You wanna just use regular rice. Some seasonings, you'll need not onion powder, oregano, so let me swap that out. Ground cumin, chili powder, salsa, garlic, oil. This is the Chosen Foods avocado oil. You'll need some frozen corn, an onion, and of course chicken. So let's get started on dinner. So I went ahead and just diced the chicken up pretty small, and then I'm just going to do a quick season of salt and pepper before it goes into the Instant Pot. That'll get the chicken nice and flavorful. So I have my Instant Pot on the saute mode. I'm going to add just a couple of teaspoons of avocado oil. I'm going to let this warm up for just a few minutes before I add in my onions and garlic. Once your oil's had just a couple of minutes to warm up, we are going to add in quite a large scoop of garlic. Ooh, listen to that sizzle. That's what I like to hear. And then I went ahead and just diced up my onion. So I'm going to add that. And we're just gonna let this saute down for just a couple of minutes. The Instant Pot saute function is fast. So we just want our onions to get a little soft. As your onions start to soften, we're gonna go ahead and add in just a little bit of oregano, some chili powder, and that's the spicy part, so I'm not going to put in very much of that, and a little bit of cumin. Stir that around, let that kind of work the flavors for about 45 seconds. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in about half of a cup of chicken broth. You are gonna reserve the rest of the chicken broth for a little bit later, and then give that another stir so that everything gets combined. Now we're going to add in the diced chicken. So I went ahead, as you saw, diced it up, seasoned it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Give that a quick stir before we add in the black beans, salsa, and corn. So we've got our chicken. Now we want to add about a cup of corn. So there we go. And black beans, I did go ahead and drain and rinse those. And then lastly, we are going to add in this entire rest of this jar of salsa. You want about a cup or so, and we have used a little bit of this already. And by the way, this Muir Glen Organic Mild Salsa is really good. I picked this up off the Thrive Market. And Thrive is linked down below, you guys, with a free gift. So definitely check it out. You get up to a $24 value gift for free when you join Thrive. So love it. All right, so go ahead and give that a stir. Get that chicken, the beans, and the corn and salsa combined. Next, we are going to take one cup of rice, and we are just going to sprinkle it over the top of the chicken beans mixture. So that was half of a cup. And there is the other half of a cup. You do not want to stir this in. Just go ahead and sprinkle it right on top. And then we are going to add the remainder of our chicken broth, which is one and a half cups, just right over the top. Now, if there are any dry spots of rice, just go ahead and kind of push it down. Make sure that you are not stirring. And then we're going to pop our lid on, set this on high manual for 10 minutes. So once the 10 minutes was up, I went ahead and just manually released all of the pressure. Oh my gosh, this looks so delicious. It smells absolutely incredible. The rice looks like it's cooked thoroughly. So what we're going to do is this makes six servings. So I'm going to divide this out into a couple of bowls for Troy and I, and I'll be back to show you kind of what I'm doing for toppings, and then we'll go over points and calories for the rice bowl, but Yum. So here is dinner. So this is one sixth 
of the Instant Pot recipe. Here is the leftovers. It looks really good. So six servings, one six, which is approximately one and a half cups is eight points on the green plan four points on both blue and purple. It's more on green because you have to count for the chicken. 365 calories and 41 grams of protein. You can't beat that. So that is dinner. I went ahead and topped it with some homemade guacamole. I just mashed up an avocado with some lime juice and some everything but the bagel seasoning. And then I just put on a dollop of this Fa'e total Greek yogurt, and that is our bowl for dinner. So here's my dessert for tonight. I'm gonna do one of the Oikos, Oikos Triple Zero in coconut. 15 grams of protein and only two smart points. I really like this one. And then I'm actually going to put one point worth of this Purely Elizabeth Blueberry Hemp Granola on top of my yogurt, which is about a tablespoon. Doesn't really give me a lot of protein, but I do like the crunch of the granola on the yogurt. So that's going to be dessert. Thank you so much for joining me on another What I Eat Today on WW. I hope you had so much fun coming along with me today. We kicked some major booty at Jazzercise, had some really good nourishing food. Of course, you guys know I love my Muscle Box subscription, so I was obsessed when that came in the mail. It was just an overall good day. So if you're new, stick around and subscribe. Make sure you turn your bell on so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. If you are not yet to subscribed and you are always over here checking out my videos, please make sure you do subscribe and turn your bell on. It really helps my channel. It also helps my channel if you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, check out that description box again for my nutrition coaching website, the website where all of my recipes are located so you can find tonight's dinner recipe and all of my favorite things and discount codes are down there as well. Also head over and join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you be part of our tribe. And thank you guys again so, so much for spending some time with me today. Have a fantastic Wednesday and I'll see you all next time.